Well, we're all getting older, but so are our pets, our dogs, our cats. They need extra support as they age, and listen to me, they need somebody to love them, just like we all do. And here to tell us how we can help these dogs, not only in finding a home, but in being healthy, is veterinarian Dr. Brittany Barton with Heal Veterinary Hospital. Thank Tell me about me. this. This oh. is Chloe. Chloe, Chloe, stand up, Chloe. Come here, Miss Chloe. Come she here. is okay. available for adoption. She kind of looks like, stand up, Chloe. You're on TV. <laughs> She's like, You're I'm on chill. TV. Roll I'm over, chill. Chloe. Roll over. Oh, my God. You see yourself? Oh, she sees herself <laughs> on the TV. She does look like an Irish wolf. <laughs> look, that's good, Chloe. You're doing good. Nobody can turn that. <laughs> Nobody can turn that face down. And look, her tail's wagging. She likes what she sees. How can somebody adopt this precious dog? They can contact doginkittycity.org, and it's D-O-G-N-K-I-T-T-Y, kittycity.org. And she is available for adoption. She's about seven and a half years old, so she's a little senior girl. Well, wait, how, what's the lifespan? My dog lived 13 years, so. And that's the goal. Yeah, so. The goal, 13, 15, 17, sounds great. But if great. you don't have anybody loving you, you're going to die fast. And so, did some old person turn her in? You know what, we're not really sure. She was turned over in Irving, and she was rescued from a, a kill animal shelter and brought to a no-kill. So Aww. she's been there about two years now, so she is definitely looking for a forever home. But we want to definitely talk about what we can do to help those senior dogs live longer. Oh, we sure do. So definitely. We can give them vitamins and nutrients well, and Well, number one, biannual exams. So instead of kind of adhering to the once a year examination that everybody kind of thinks of that they need to go in and get vaccines, the senior dogs need to go in to have a good comprehensive exam. As Just well like as, we do. Yeah, as well as lab work and even considering doing a once a year ultrasound. When they're older, that's when those life-threatening disease conditions show up. The earlier you can find it, the more you have to do about it. And you can, you can treat it and prolong their life because they're going to die. Possibly. So we, we can't are. stop that. Yeah. But we can maybe add years to the life. Add quality yeah. years, you know, and that's, that's what I want to talk about is how to add quality years to your pet's life. You know, other than doing regular exams and bringing them in twice a year, not just once a year, you really need to think about their nutrition. Because some older dogs need more fat and more calories to keep the weight on. Other dogs, like Miss Chloe here, probably needs a little less fat, mm -hmm. a little fewer calories to keep her in her optimal health zone. Yes, and you know, when they're carrying around excess fat, their energy levels weigh down. They don't get enough movement. Believe it or not, it also increases orthopedic injuries. I believe if that. If they get out there and they think they want to chase that squirrel and they're carrying around the extra pounds, they're going to be more apt to rupture a cruciate ligament or mm -hmm. you know, have some sort of soft tissue what injury. Kind of, what kind of vitamins are, are we looking at here? Well, the other thing that we really need to focus on with senior pets is their supplements. Oh. Things like dementia also affect dogs and cats. So as they get older, if you're waiting until you see signs of the dementia, a lot of times there's very few things you can do anymore. How would you know a dog has dementia? If they start developing anxieties that they didn't used to have, if they get a little bit confused and get kind of stuck in a, a corner, mm -hmm. if they vocalize for no apparent reason, if they start waking you up in the middle of the night, mm -hmm. all of those are signs of dementia. So what I recommend for my clients and my patients is that when their pets hit that senior status, that they really need to start thinking about some pharmaceutical grade supplements. So these these are medications that are perfectly safe. They're not going to cause negative side effects, but they could greatly support their general health, their mental health, their joint health. Things like a pharmaceutical grade SAMe, as well as a milk thistle combination. We have natural supplements that help with anxiety. We have omega fatty acids that help with brain health, joint health, skin health. Is she taking all these? Not yet, but I'm going to work on it. I'll tell you that right now. Well, she, <laughs> She's about to come in wait and start a minute. doing conditioning, Wait a minute. She should be too. paid. She's on TV. 
She sure. needs she needs a supply of those. She is so We're gonna start to support her. I want her to lose some weight. So I we're gonna know. see about bringing her in and start doing you some know, conditioning. Put her on, you know, which would be great. Put her on that sub or whatever you use mm -hmm. and let's see the weight drop off of her. Absolutely. Except hopefully if somebody would adopt this precious dog. I mean, Chloe, you are just precious and I'm glad you like yourself this morning. And I wanna tell you, if you get up in, in the middle of the night, it might also mean you need to go TT. <laughs> Pay attention to those aging pets. They depend on you. And to get more information about Dr. Brittany and her marvelous practice, visit our webpage at thebroadcasttv.com and we'll get you connected. We've got more table talk for you, so stick around. We'll be right back.